Now, are you ready for this? From our legendary Broadway performances to roles in iconic films such as Mary Poppins and The Sound of Music, my first guest is quite simply the real McCoy. She's a superstar. Will you please welcome the very lovely Dame Julie Andrews? <laughs> I'm extremely good, thank you. It's lovely and to see you. And how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Good. You know I have a rose at home named after you. Do you? Yes. The That's most... very rare. Not many people do. It's a beautiful orange rose with, orange with lemon. Orange red, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and it's prolific. Well, it that's It takes great. over the whole rose garden. I think you must be one do you know? Well, funny, uh, funny enough, I got off a specialist rose breed and he said these are extremely rare. <laughs> <laughs> it was like in the back of the shop, you know, it was like something magical. Uh, but it's beautiful, I have to say. Oh, I'm so it's pleased. It's tiny, tiny little Makes roses. Makes me feel very special. <laughs> How are your dogs? My dogs are great. Because I know you love your dogs. I love my dogs. They're, um, I'm missing them. Yeah. Yeah, I have two. Uh, I, I do, I love them. And oh, there they are. That, the little one is Button, and the <laughs> larger one that's a Moyen Poodle is bigger than that now. He's Barney. And they're great friends. Oh. Now, you're going on tour, I believe. Yes. Um, I'm doing, uh, I think, five speaking engagements all across England. And I, I do this quite a bit in America. And they said, would I care to come over here and do it as well? And I said, I'd love to. I'd get to see my family and... All of, all of that. And it's a nice evening because it's, it's really, everyone sort of comes to my house and we have a sort of, it's like a party in a way. And it's a lot of film footage and silly outtakes and oh, stories and the things that I'm passionate about and things that I've done. And I think I, we, we go to Q&A, question and answer in the second half. Well, I've read your autobiography. I read it a few years ago Ooh. now. And you've got so many anecdotes. <laughs> I mean, uh, one night... Well, then, I won't use them all, <laughs> but I'll use the better ones. I love the one where you nearly missed your first Royal Variety performance because Isn't you didn't that... open the telegram. Yes, it's <laughs> absolutely true. I was, I was 13 years old, and I, my mother would not allow me in those days to open my mail because occasionally a you rather exactly. uh, yeah. nasty gentleman would write something obscene and she didn't want me to read it. <laughs> and um, so she said, just put it in your handbag or in your pocket, bring it home. So there I was in a show, and the mail came in, including a telegram. So I put it in my pocket of my jacket. I went home and forgot to take the mail out, because it didn't seem that important. And about a week later, I said, oh, Mom, there's some, some, some mail in my pocket. I'd better give it to you, I suppose. And she opened it up, and she nearly fainted, <laughs> because it was an invitation to appear at the World Command performance that year. But they had to be notified by that day or the next day. And she, she said, oh my God! Get on the phone, quick, quick! Yes, and she did, and of yeah. course I, I, ma I made it. Well, we've got a clip of that performance. Have you? Yeah. Would you like to see it? Well, yeah, I, I, yes, I would. How old were you on this? 13. Were you nervous at that age? No, not then, I'm much more nervous now. Isn't it strange, when you're young, you've got no fear. It's... Well, no, you've got nothing to lose. Exactly. That's what it yeah. is, Paul. It's yeah. only when you, as you get older, you yes. think, I don't know whether I can yes. do this. Oh. Let's have a look, look, please, at the Royal Command performance. <laughs> That's all. I bet it was. And the king, the king at that time was ill, and he died not too much after that, not too long after that. And uh, so he wasn't there that night, but the queen mother was, and Princess Elizabeth, who is now the queen, and I think Margaret was there, Princess Margaret. It was a lovely evening. Now, when you, when you were in Camelot, starting in Camelot and Broadway, is when Walt Disney approached you yes, about Mary Poppins. Yes, but you, yes. were, you were reticent at first, weren't you? Well, taking for a very that? good reason. Um, he, he came backstage and I thought he was just being friendly and wanted to say that he'd enjoyed the show. And um, he said, would I be interested in coming to California to see the designs and hear the music that he was developing for a film uh, called Mary Poppins by P.L. Travers? And I said, oh, Mr. Disney, I would love it, but I have to tell you, I'm pregnant. And I was three months pregnant. And he said, 
Well, that's all right. We'll wait. That was jolly positive, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> well, I didn't realize how long it takes to, in pre-production to get a film ready to, to film. And so, subsequently, I took my lovely baby. Uh, then she was three months old and went headed out to uh, California. And he was lovely. He was a very decent man. He had a great talent for spotting talent. And there wasn't a nasty person on the studio lot. Well, we've got a lovely clip from Mary Poppins. I, I have to tell you this. When this movie came out, I said, I want to go and see this badly. And I persecuted my sister to take me. No. Please take me. No. And my sister was at the age then where she wasn't really into the cinema, you know, and she said, oh, no, I've got to sit in the place. She loved it. Oh, good. Well, I I'm loved bad. it. Yeah. Let's have a look at Mary Poppins in all our glory. I love that. Oh, seriously, you really are. Oh, Honestly, good. you really are. Thank you. What was was P.L. Travers as irascible as everybody said? Very she was? irascible. <laughs> Why um, she? And, um, Emma Thompson plays her so beautifully in uh, the film Saving Mr. Banks, and of course uh, Tom Hanks plays Disney so wonderfully. Because yeah. they're quite dark, the books, aren't they? When you they are, them? and yeah. of course Disney did not make it as no, dark. No. no. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, very. Yeah. And she is pretty, Mary Poppins. When you look at the illustrations, she is pretty, yes, Mary Poppins. Yes, she's quite pretty, but she does have the... Uh, oh, she's I, little I do notes. have the nose The little it, button yes. notes. Yes. Will you be writing any more children's books? Oh, my gosh, yes. Because you've written how many? Over 20, you and no, your daughter? No, 29 so far with my daughter and about 30-something and with adding the ones that I've written on my is own. Is that something you love doing? I writing? love it, especially at this stage of my life where I'm not as busy as I used to be. And so... For us, we have a small production uh, book uh, publishing company, and as I said, there is and little uh, middle grade novels and young adult novels that are out. Unfortunately, not many of them are here in England yet, but you know, hopefully. We have to do <laughs> um, but there about will that. be some. I think we've sent for some, so I could sell some of them in the uh, theatres if anybody's interested. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Oh, do you want me to do the stall for you at the back of the theatre? <laughs> I'll sit there, I'll bully them. If you do that, you'd better come with me and come up on stage. I'll have Olga on the desk. Oh, yeah. that'll sell him. That'll, that'll do. <laughs> Listen, have a lovely tour. Really enjoy yourself oh, on tour. Oh, thank you. In enjoy Liverpool. Li in... Oh, they love you in Liverpool. Will they? Oh, what, please? Will you explain to Dan Cooley? <laughs> Dale Adore. Well, Liverpool. Yeah. yeah. And, uh... Bournemouth and London. Bournemouth and Lo London and Bournemouth. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Let's hear it. A very lovely Dame Julie Andrews. Thank you. Thank you.